Welcome, welcome, welcome to the first ever edition of SKN Football Weekly. This is a weekly web TV series where we look at football in St. Kitts and Nevis, primarily the Premier League, and we'll be previewing the games, reviewing the previous week's game, and giving you the rundown of everything the National Bank Premier League in St. Kitts. I'm your host, Andre Huey. I'll be your host each and every week, and I'll be joined by a co-host each week. We'll be different persons, uh, guest co-hosts, coaches, players, you name it. We'll have it all here on SKN Football Weekly. We want to welcome all our viewers from all over the globe, all of us in Kitson Nevis, football fans from the various teams watching on the SKN FA Facebook page as well as the SKN Newsline Facebook page and SKN Newsline Dot com or wherever you're watching us, we want to welcome you and thank you so much for welcoming you in your homes as we get ready for the start of the 2018-2019 National Bank Premier League season. My co-host this week is none other but Sean Dixon. He is a journalist with the St. Kitts Nevis Observer, a football fan, and covers football extensively in St. Kitts Nevis, and so we're happy to have him as our, our analyst. I should also let our viewers know, before we get into the meat of things today, that um, our sister partner radio station or affiliate radio station, Voice of the Caribbean Radio at voiceofthecaribbean.net, will be broadcasting the Premier League matches, well, one Premier League match per week. Um, that will be the SKNFA match of the week, and that will be on at 8 p.m. on Saturdays. You can listen to that broadcast. So tonight we'll have that broadcast for you at 8 p.m. at voiceofthecaribbean.net. You can also listen uh, via the SKNFA website as well. So you can join us each and every week at 8 p.m. for the National Bank Premier League. Well, let's get started. We have a lot to talk about. We have some great matches coming up this weekend. We have two newly promoted teams that we're going to be talking about. They'll bow into action as early as Saturday. We'll also have the defending champions, Ramsville Superstars, uh, uh, starting their title defense. we we'll see how well they can do that. But there's so much to talk about, so let's get straight into the meat of things. LaShawn, welcome to SKN Football Weekly. It's a pleasure to have you on the very first <laughs> show of yes, the Yes, yes, it's, it's a pleasure being here, and I, I'm proud to be the first, <laughs> the first <laughs> co-host. And at this, at this historic right. show. Right. And of course, you will be on with our broadcast um, later tonight as well yes. with the uh, match that we will talk about later on at 8 p.m. Yes, but yes, yes. Um, let's, let's get in the meat of things. Um, we will start with the President's Cup because that happened as recently as last week, Saturday. Um, Keon, Flo Fuji Keon Rockets, they defended their pre President's Cup title. Yes. They won that handsomely. They won with a scoreline of 4-3. Uh, doesn't reflect the full game, though, because... <laughs> Um, uh, for, one, yes. for a long parts in the game, they were leading 4-1. Yep. And then Village came back and, and scored two more goals and was trying to, to go for an equaliser, but wasn't enough time. But let's talk about the President's Cup. Um, that was certainly, that's certainly the curtain raiser for the league. Yes. Um, fans look out for that, players look out for that. Um, what's your anticipation, though, for the league as we, as we get ourselves ready to start? Well, my anticipation for the league, I, I'm happy that football is back. <laughs> I finally have something to do at weekends. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, well, it's, it's a first start for all 10 teams at New Canvas, and what goes onto that canvas is what the players do out on the pitch. Right. Well, we'll be, I'm certainly looking forward to it. I'm sure a lot of the football fans as well are looking forward to the start of the league. All right. We're going to be looking at the President's Cup, as we said, and then we'll start to you know, break down the teams as we look at the matchups for this weekend. President's Cup. Keon winning handsomely four goals to three. We're going to give our viewers now an opportunity to see the highlights, the goals scored by the various teams in that match. have it there the highlights from the Keon versus a uh, village matchup the President's Cup 2018 flow of 40 Keon Rockets back-to-back -back President Cup winners they won that handsomely four goals to three um, 
the scoreline, in my view, didn't reflect the, 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 the state of the match. Um, Village, uh, a bit came out a bit flat-footed. Yes. They, they were against the green for most of the match. Uh, they were down 4-1 yep. around the 60th minute of the game, and there was still a lot of time left mm -hmm. on the clock. Um, what do you think was going to the heads of the players at that time, you know, coming off a long layoff? Yes. Well, I, I guess the rust, you know, is the first game of the season. It's, it's not the end, but Kayang came out strong, a good way to start the season for them. Um, but in the end, Village getting the, those two goals at the end to make it a respectable scoreline will be something they can be, it was, it will be the positive they can build on going on yeah. for, for the rest of the season. Now, um, I'm going to just give fans a little taste of, of what we said. Well, we're actually, we'll just go straight to it. We spoke with the coaches of both teams, the assistant coach of Village, as well as the coach for Kayon. Let's start with the assistant coach of Village, um, Stephen Clark. He basically said the same thing you're saying, the rust. Um, they weren't able to um, get over the long layoff of the league, and, and that as a result of that, it affected their play. Uh, do you think that was the case for Village? Yes, definitely. Um, start, start, starting the season is always tough because... You don't know what your opponents are coming with. You coming off the back of a big victory in the league. You 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 probably a bit like a daisical early on, but then hey, it's, it's just the first game of the season. It's not the end all. Yeah, Kayan, however, they see this victory as they said the last time around too. They see this victory as their a precursor to the season. It's a, a push for them, an encouragement for them in the season. Um, do you think they had a point to prove, considering the disappointment of last season, not making it to the finals? Everyone thought they were going to repeat. They didn't. Do you think they think the President's Cup was an opportunity <laughs> for them to prove to the world and prove to the football fans, Kayan is here and ready? Yes, definitely. It helped. It's, it's also good to start and, and, win, and win in foot. As you said, they, 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 they failed to make the finals. They were quite disappointed that they couldn't even defend, get a chance to treat it. Um, but winning the President's Cup is a, is a good start for the season. And hopefully, it, it bodes well for them come the end. It gives the team confidence going into the Premier League as well. Right. Uh, if you're just joining us, this is SKN Football Weekly. I'm Andre Huey. We're here at Football House, and we'll, this show will be on every week at 11 a.m. Every Saturday, I spoke to a, a couple of fans, uh, one, actually a player from one of the national teams, one of the Premier League teams, and he told me he'll be definitely up to watch uh, Football Weekly. So we want you to spread the word, share this link with everyone out there on your Facebook links, Facebook page as well as an sknewsline.com and let people know 11 o'clock every Saturday we'll be here to give you previews and reviews of the matches for the National Bank Premier League. So we looked at the President's Cup, Kayon winning the President's Cup. There's an interesting fact though, uh, LaShawn, about that, is that I, I was made, to, made aware that the last two years or last two or three years, barring this year, we, we're yet to see what will happen, but for the last two or so year, uh, seasons, the team that lost the President's Cup ultimately won the Premier League. <laughs> well, so, well, so are we saying that Village is going to win the Premier League? Well, well, well for, for, for Because they did lose last season. That's a good omen to, 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 to be a part of, so <laughs> we'll have to see. <laughs> All right. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get ourselves ready now to look at the matches coming up this weekend. Uh, there are some big matches coming up this weekend, and we're going to start by previewing the... Oh, well, before we get to that, I must say... Um, there are going to be some changes this year, and some welcome changes this year for the playoffs. This is the first time you're hearing this, and you're hearing it exclusively on SKM Football Weekly. Um, come the playoff time this next, next summer, God's willing, 2019, instead of a final four, it will be a final six. So the top six teams will make it to the playoffs this season. It's a good opportunity for teams that were struggling to make the final four. They will now have a chance to get in in the top six. Talk to us about that, LaShawn. Final six as opposed to final four. Well, for the past four or five years, you can say, um, there have been six really competitive teams in the Premier League every season. So expansion of the final four to include the six will make it more competitive and make it more difficult. It also, but it also give you more chances to, to, to make the finals. And um, I hope it, it would also help to bring out fans because a, a, a fan of, let's say, a St. Peter's who haven't made the final four in a while. We would like to see some player football and back his team in the playoffs. So hopefully it, it, we would all ball red for football in the, in the long run. Yeah. And, you know, last season, for example, it was kind of heartbreaking for, for Spurs, for example. They, yeah. they were this close, this yes. close to making it to the final four. Yes. Actually, they were a penalty kick away, really, yes. <laughs> which sadly for them, sadly 
failed to convert in their previous match because Sadlers needed to win that match against, I think that was St. Paul's they were playing and, and they didn't. Uh, or Keon rather, they played Keon in yeah, that yes, match, yes, right? Yes, it was yes. Keon in the last game of the season. Uh, they had a penalty, they missed the penalty. And by virtue of that, um, Spurs were knocked out eventually of the final four. So I'm, I'm sure it would, as you said, it would give teams that are definitely on the cusp yes. of making the top four. Now they'll have a chance. So you heard it, folks. Our final six for next season's playoff. And you're hearing it for the first time here at SKM Football Weekly. We'll be looking more at that as we go along. At this point, we're going to take a break. We're going to hear from uh, some of our sponsors and some promos. And we'll be right back with more at SKN Football Weekly. The National Bank Premier League in St. Kitts is back and Voice of the Caribbean Radio is bringing live coverage with the SKNFA Match of the Week. And it is in the back of the net! Every Saturday evening at 8pm, Voice of the Caribbean Radio will be broadcasting the Premier League Match of the Week at www.voiceofthecaribbean.net or sknfa.com. Shot taken and in the back of the net! We'll bring you the action through live commentary and analysis with pre-game, halftime and post-game shows, live and direct from the Warner Park Football Stadium. That's the SKNFA Match of the Week on Voice of the Caribbean Radio in partnership with the St. Kitts Nevis Football Association. Bring in live radio coverage every Saturday at 8pm from now till the end of the season. Only on voiceofthecaribbean.net or sknfa.com. Live football action from St. Kitts every Saturday on Voice of the Caribbean Radio, your Caribbean sports leader. I am floored. That is a that is a scorcher of a goal. That's the best. At Najico, the things that matter to you matter to us. Like knowing you're covered when your house gets flooded. Getting your settlements quickly and fairly when a fire hits your home. And making sure your business can keep going, even after an accident happens on site. At Nagico, we're about much more than just insurance. We're about the big things and the small things that mean everything. On the road to good health, you must visit Nature's Discount Nutrition Center on 4th Street. Nature's Discount is your first stop for all natural supplements to maintain the health of the entire family, natural alternative medicines to heal your ailments, natural weight management supplies to ensure you look good. Nature's Discount Nutrition Center also carries all of your sports nutrition supplies, cleansing and digestion products, natural health and beauty products, oils, organic and gluten-free foods, energy and endurance, and sexual well-being supplements. Nature's Discount Nutrition Center on 4th Street is open 9 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Monday through Fridays and evenings 6.30 to 8.30 on Saturdays. Nature's Discount Nutrition Center, your get healthy, feel wealthy people. Now you can have SK Newsline on the go. Introducing SK Newsline Android mobile app. Search SK Newsline in the Google Play Store. Download the app free and stay up to date with TV news in St. Kitts and Nevis in the palm of your hands. With this app, you can watch your news reports, watch our live news feed on SK Newsline TV, engage with us and other app users in the chat room, look at our special features, send us news tips, and call us directly. It's, it's news, news on, on the go. go. The SK Newsline Android mobile app. Download it free today. Welcome back to SKN Football Weekly. I'm your host, Andre Huey. This is our first, very first episode of the show. I have with me LaShawn Dixon, my guest co-host. He is from the St. Kitts Nevis Observer. We've been talking just before the break about the President's Cup, as well as the final six playoffs, which is the new format that the SKNFA is taking for the playoffs. So next season, or next year rather, when the playoffs come around this summer, the 2018-2019 season, this very same season, we will have six teams going to the playoffs as opposed to four. And that's a welcome change because I'm sure now the fan base yes. will expand for the playoffs. We, we do have good support for the playoffs, <laughs> but we'll have even better support now because we now have six teams yes. competing in the playoffs. All right, we have some big matches this weekend. We're going to preview the matches that are upcoming this weekend. We have, let's start off the games on Saturday. It is SL Horsford St. Paul's. And they will be taking on St. Peter's, uh, Elko Limited St. Peter's, the team from Monkey Hill. Um, and then, in the second of the doubleheader, 
which, by the way, will be broadcasting live on our affiliate radio station, Voice of the Caribbean Radio at voiceofthecaribbean.net. Um, and again, let me just remind our fans, for those who are just joining, we will be broadcasting radio coverage of the 8 o'clock match every Saturday. It's called the SKNFA Match of the Week, and it's broadcast live on Voice of the Caribbean Radio. You can listen to Voice of the Caribbean Radio at voiceofthecaribbean.net, or you can go to the SKNFA's website, where you can also listen there as well. Uh, there will be a link to take you to the live broadcast. Yours truly will be the, the commentator, and LaShawn will join me tomorrow. Uh, will join me on Saturday um, tonight um, with the as a co-commentator for that. So that game between the second game of the doubleheader, Old Road versus Ramsey Superstars, Old Road Jets versus Ramsey Superstars, will bring you that live on Voice of the Caribbean Radio. Let's talk about the St. Paul St. Peter's game. That is yes. a highly anticipated match. Um, St. Paul's. Um, with a new coach, by the way, who happens to be the assistant coach, he's now taking over head coaching duties. Well, it was a fresh start for St. Paul's, you know. Um, they, last year, they, they, they made the playoffs, but they didn't do as good as we thought they could. Um, they, they know how to win the, the, this Premier League title. They have done it several times in the past, in the most recent past as well. But the last few years, they have just fallen short of where I think they, they want to be and the community want them to be. What do you think this new coaching change will do? I mean, Austin Deco Huggins, we'll talk about him later because he's moved on to his old side, um, Garden Hotspurs. But um, what do you think this coaching change will do? Um, their, their assistant coach is a pretty knowledgeable person. He actually led Village to the playoffs years ago um, and was sacked. Don't ask me why. Um, but he did a fantastic job with Village that year. And, um, you know, now he's been with us in Paul's out for quite a bit of a long time. And now he has the opportunity to be head coach. Yes, and I also think he, he, he was a coach of Saddlers at one point in time. At one point in time, yeah. Yes, um, but sometimes it's good to have a, a, a different voice, a player's hearing a different voice in their ear. Because after hearing the same voice for so many years, sometimes it, it, it gets mute, muted. Um, but uh, he, he, him starting on this new journey with St. Paul's, uh, it might be good for, 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 their, for, 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 for what they want to achieve um, later on in the season. St. Paul's is, a, is an enigma in that they're a team that continues to do well in the regular season. For, for several years, they've topped the league as a top team going into the playoffs, and they fall short. Um, they did, of course, had a back-to-back -back year um, a few years ago, but over the last few years, again, they've, they've always fallen short in, in getting to the final hump. Um, what do you think St. Paul's need to do to tweak in order to have a better showing this season? Um, goals. Scoring goals. Um, defensively, they have always been strong, but they've always fallen short um, up front. And I think that, that, that is where they, 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 they need help the most. Um, and the new coach as well, um, he has experience winning the Premier League, so that, that should also um, bode well for them yeah. this season. Before we, we definitely can't leave without talking about Deco because he has yes. been with St. Paul's for a number of years, um, being a former national player, a former player in the Premier League, and to be able to go uh, to a team like St. Paul's and won two championships with them and, and led them to other titles as well. Uh, certainly he has left a, a legacy at St. Paul's. Definitely, and I remember um, the year before he became the head coach, he, I mean the team played the finals and lost against Ramsville Superstars. <laughs> and he came in and the very next season, he got them over the hump, so. Uh, he, he definitely will go down in the history books of the St. Paul's Football Club uh, as well, one of the greatest coaches. And uh, I, I guess they will miss him in, in, <laughs> for, for what he, he did. But it, it's Antonio Pat, and both, team, both him and the team are, uh, have turned the pages, Antonio Chapter. So, right. it's, 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 well, let's talk about St. Peter's, the team from Monkey Hill. Um, they are certainly a team that a lot of. Um, pundits and, and others see as a team that can break into the final four. They too have also had a chance um, in the playoffs. They were in the finals a few years ago but got swept. Um, they didn't start the season off very strongly last year and I think that hurt them a lot because by the time they really caught themselves and really started playing good football and playing more consistently, it was too late. Yes, St. Peter's has always shocked me the type of team. They're very polarizing. They can be very, very good one week and then very very terrible the other um, and one big thing I, I realize them they always when they play terribly they always make big mistakes so if, if they can eliminate those mistakes reduce those mistakes 
um, they should be this should be good they should be even challenging for a place in the top six yeah I expect St Peter's to be in the top six uh, if anything because they are certainly <laughs> They're certainly a team that uh, I think has the potential to do well. So we'll have to see how, how well they will perform in St. Paul's. Well, I, I think it would, it, would, it would be a slow start game. Both, both, both teams feeling out each other, um, trying to get, you know, trying to see what they have. Um, they, 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 the players have played again with each other um, on the, the training ground, but on, on the field of players, a different scenario. So, so I just I think it would be a slow start, but in in the end, someone will go into it and be able to pull off and get the three points. All right. The next match we have at eight o'clock uh, tonight is uh, Old Road versus Village. The Old Road Jets versus the Ransville Superstars. That game will be live on Voice of the Caribbean Radio at Voice of the Caribbean um, Old Road. They were in the Premier League a few seasons ago. They got relegated. They fought their way back. They finished second in the league in Division One football, and now they're in for, for the Premier League. Uh, what is it about Oro you know that you think would be of uh, 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 an advantage for them, and also problems for other teams? <laughs> well, going back to when they were in the Premier League last time, they played very very well, but they lost games to teams around them in the relegation zone who were fighting relegation as well and that ultimately led to them being relegated so and they, they also struggled to finish games they, they would play a good 70 minutes and then struggle for the last 20 minutes i don't know if it was a fitness or a mental concern but if they can if they they they, they went to division one they came straight back up so if they can build on what they did last season in Division 1 and parallel that with what they did in the Premier League season before, I think they should be good. Right. And uh, Village, this is your first test. Um, they are the defending champions, they won the league very handsomely last season. Yes. I think they had a, a fantastic season, they've won every round of the season, they won the Carnival Cup, they were to the finals of the, uh, of, of the FA Cup. Um, Village is certainly um, looking good. They may have some changes in their coaching staff as well, and so we don't know if that's going to impact them negatively or positively. But what do you expect from Village, especially coming off that disappointing loss last week to, to Kayon? Yeah, we're coming off that disappointing loss. They want to start fast. They want to start well and get out the blocks early. Um, going back to last season, yes, they, they, they played very well. Um, it's probably the first time I've, I've seen a team over the length of a football season play so consistently. They never really had a dip in form. They lose a, hit, a game here or there, but it, there was never really any dip in form. And it, it was just um, historic, basically, the, the way that they played last season. It's, it's impressive. And they have um, some players that picked up some knocks um, uh, playing for the national team and also um, in the, the President's Cup last week. So we don't know again how those injuries will impact them, but certainly we, all eyes will be on Village. And when the season kicks off we're going to take another break when we come back we're going to take a look at the games for sunday the games are happening tomorrow uh, some really exciting matchups and we'll bring you the previews here on F skn football weekly why read the news when you can watch it introducing skn newsline the federation's only online tv news platform SKN Newsline is an online TV news platform covering news in St. Kitts and Nevis. You can watch SKN Newsline on our website, www.sknnewsline.com, or Facebook page at www.fb.com slash SKN Newsline. SKN Newsline, your world, your news. The cable we provide much more than just the fastest and most reliable internet service. We fill the homes of all our customers with joy and laughter. Our services connect friends and keep families together. With the most extensive fiber optic network, we ensure that you can enjoy the things you love with the people you love. Whether it's catching up with family or old friends, or simply just enjoying your favorite TV shows. People choose the cable because quality shows. At Najiko, the things that matter to you matter to us. Like knowing you're covered when your house gets flooded. Getting your settlements quickly and fairly when a fire hits your home. And making sure your business can keep going even after an accident happens on site. At Najiko, we're about much more than just insurance. We're about the big things and the small things that mean everything. 
For all your printing needs at top-notch quality, go, go to, to Digital, Digital Print, Print Plus, Plus, located on Princess Street, Bastier St. Kitts. At Digital Print Plus, you get the best in business cards, letterheads, envelopes, wristbands, tent cards, rack cards, flyers, brochures, logo designs, posters, photos, architectural designs, 3D renderings, and so much more. Digital Print Plus gives you the best quality at competitive prices. Contact us at 767-7468 or email digitalprintskn at gmail.com or follow us on Facebook at Digital Print SKN. Digital, Digital Print, Print Plus, Plus for, for all, all your printing, printing needs at, at the, the best, best quality. quality. The National Bank Premier League in St. Kitts is back and Voice of the Caribbean Radio is bringing live coverage with the SKNFA Match of the Week. <laughs> Every Saturday evening at 8 p.m., Voice of the Caribbean Radio will be broadcasting the Premier League Match of the Week at www.voiceofthecaribbean.net or sknfa.com. Shot taken and in the back of the net! We'll bring you the action through live commentary and analysis with pre-game, halftime and post-game shows, live and direct from the Warner Park Football Stadium. That's the SKNFA Match of the Week on Voice of the Caribbean Radio in partnership with the St. Kitts Nevis Football Association. Bring in live radio coverage every Saturday at 8 p.m. from now till the end of the season. Only on voiceofthecaribbean.net or sknfa.com. Live football action from St. Kitts every Saturday on Voice of the Caribbean Radio, your Caribbean sports leader. I am floored. That is a, that is a scorcher of a goal. That's the best... Welcome back to SKN Football Weekly. I'm Andre Huey. With me is LaShawn Dixon. This is our first ever episode of Football Weekly. Again, let me just remind you that tonight, the Old Road Jets will be taking on the Ramsey Superstars, and that match is live on our affiliate radio station, Voice of the Caribbean Radio, at voiceofthecaribbean.net, as well as sknfa.com. And we'll be bringing you live action at 8 p.m. every Saturday on Voice of the Caribbean Radio. So be sure to listen to the highlights or listen to the entire coverage and commentary. We'll give you pre-game show, post-game show, and as well as a halftime show. Uh, we'll be giving you the coverage right throughout for the full two hours thereabouts. All right, so we spoke about the games before the break, the games happening on Sunday, uh, on Saturday rather. Now we're going to look at the games happening on Sunday, tomorrow. Um, we have Newtown taking on Connery. That's uh, MAP. They have a very long sponsor, so <laughs> let me just make it short. MAP Newtown United FC versus Connery FC. Um, that's one of the matchups. Then we have Newcomers Mantab taking on SPD. There's an interesting fact about Mantab. Now there's a rumor going around about Mantab. We'll talk about that. And Kaon, Flow 40 Kaon Rockets, former champions. They'll be taking on the Hobson Enterprises Garden Hotspurs. That one is also an interesting team as well. We're going to be talking about that. Let's talk about Mantab first. Mantab versus Saddlers. Yes. Um, Saddlers, let's, let's talk a bit about Saddlers. Saddlers is one of those teams, and I, I remember interviewing Deco once after when they played Saddlers in one of the matches, and they struggled to beat Saddlers. They finally got the goal to beat them, beat them by a goal to nil. And he said, Saddlers is one of those teams that you, you shouldn't take lightly because they, on their day, they can hurt the biggest of teams. And um, we've seen them done, th done that last season. Yes. They barely avoided relegation, but they did. And they're back, they're still in the league. Um, talk to us about Saddlers. Well, S Saddlers is a team <laughs> I always like to see play because they, they always seem to find a big performance when the other team needs a big win. Mm. They always seem to, to, de to be there to spoil your party. They're like the bogey team. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're, always, they're always there to spoil your party. But this, this season, I, I, I'm hoping that they, they can avoid a relegation fight because um, I'm good friends with their captain, Junique Eddy, and he's desperate for the team to do well. I, I, I hope they can avoid a relegation battle. Ever since they're in Premier League, every season they have been in a relegation battle, but they're yet to be relegated. And my fear is one of these days they, they may not be able to. They may not have the legs, let's say, to, 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 to starve off the relegation. Right. Yeah. Would it be interesting, though, seeing that we have a final six, to see a Saddlers in the playoffs? <laughs> yes, that, 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 that would be interesting. But I, I think a final six this season might be just a tad too much. A tad too much. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. But Mantab, they're taking on newly promoted Mantab. They have been in the Premier League 
for a number of years, a number of seasons, they got relegated, they, it was a dog fight for them, they, they struggled for the most part, but they finally made it. They actually won the league in terms of topping the table um, in Division One football, and so they are back in the Premier League after a long layoff. Um, talk to us about Mantab and, and what we can expect from Mantab. Well, well um, if memory serves me right, they went undefeated last season in Division One. Division One. Two bounce, bounce back in the Premier League. Um, um, it's good to have them back. They, they were mainstay for some time until they, they unfortunately got relegated. They have some decent players. Um, they, they had some decent players before as well. They left the Premier League. Those players um, have since left and played for other Premier League teams. It's left to be seen whether though they can come back. But um, the formula they had last season definitely worked. So I don't know if they would like want to make much changes to that as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens there. There's another interesting fact about Manta before we move on. They have a new coach, we understand, um, who is a very experienced coach, Coach Pepe out of um, Garden Hot Spurs. Yes, yes, I, I, that's quite surprising if, if, if that's true because um, having going undefeated last season to, to make a change of coach, uh, maybe <laughs> the, the experience head. Um, maybe the, 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 the way they, 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 they saw they, need, they thought they needed to go to avoid a relegation battle or to uh, win a relegation battle basically. Yeah, I guess they're probably looking at, well, you know, the Premier League is different from Division One football. Yes. So you could have a great season in Division One football. As we saw what happened with TG um, the yeah. Bay Eagles. They had a great Division One um, campaign and then came in and got battered in the Premier League. So I guess maybe the team is just looking at that. But that's just a rumor, by the way. We don't have any confirmation on that. But, you know, we'll talk about rumors here too on the show. But um, it is rumored that uh, Coach Pepe from Spurs will be joining the Mantab team. So we'll see what happens when they take the, the field tomorrow. Um, MAP Newtown versus Connery FC. Newtown, the most successful team in football, in top flight football in St. Kitts, winning 16 titles. They're like the Manchester United of St. Kitts. Um, but they have struggled for form recently. They've sort of been rebuilding. They've had a lot of young players coming through their ranks since they last won the title in 2012. And now they are hoping that with the final six, they will actually do make the playoffs and, and, and do some great stuff. They still maintain your coach, from the best of my knowledge, in, in Coach Nets, Isaac. Um, talk to us about Newtown. Newtown is, is, is one of those teams. They, they, they play really good football, but for some reason they just struggled to, to win games last season. I, I really and they weren't consistent as well. Yes, yes. And, and I guess it comes down to their youth and inexperience. But hopefully this season a fresh start, you never know. These, you, these youngsters, um, they, no pressure on them. They, they, there is no expectation basically because they're still young. Mm -hmm. So playing that few all could, could you, you, you never know what could happen. With, yeah. With, with yeah. Interesting to see how they, how they fare off. And they, they, of course they have a sponsor which has a very long name. So yes. it's kind of hard to, to call out <laughs> that name. Montserrat Antilles Plastic. Um, but we say MAP for short. And, um, but they, they've also, one of the things that they, they've struggled with is consistency, as I indicated. Um, they, they would play good one week and the next week they, they lose to a team that they expected to beat. I remember speaking to Coach Isaac a number of times after matches they would have played and he would have complained about their attitude. He said that they need to change their attitude towards the game, they need to come to games early, they need to come to practice, they need to show up. So there seems to be some discipline issues with Newtown and it reflects in the way they play and the inconsistency of their play. Well, well, I, 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 I have a saying that I always make that every, every team in, in the Premier League has skillful players. But what separates good teams from bad teams is the mental game. The, teams, the team that plays the better mental game is a team that always has success because on any given day, you have having enough day with your skills, can level the playing field with a team that is not as skillful as you. But where you can still dominate that team is the mental game. If you don't have the mental game, you'll yeah. be in trouble in, trouble. in yeah. any sport. Yeah, that, that's, that's, um, that's, so, that's so true. And we see that not only with the local Premier League, but also in any yes. level of football, basically. It's just a mental game. And that is, seems to be a problem for some teams, including Newtown. Um, well, as we talk about mental, maybe that's a good segue into Connery FC, Salt Island, Auto Supplies, <laughs> Connery. No disrespect, but as you talk about mental game, we see where 
Um, there seems to be a mental block for Connery. They are one of the most successful teams in terms of making it to the finals, but have a very poor return rate. They've only won one title over the last five times they've been to the finals. Five or six times they've been to the finals. And that was in 2013. So that's a while ago. That's five years ago. Um, what, what would be a successful season for Connery this season? Making it to the finals obviously is not enough because they've done that. They've proven to themselves that they can make it to the finals, especially last season when we didn't expect them to go to the finals based on how the playoffs were going. Um, but again, they made it and they, they failed. Well, last season, as you said, no one expected them to get to the finals, especially going to the last day of the final four playoffs. It was either Sempa, as we were, most people was expecting, or uh, Kayan to right. pull off, of, if they were able to pull off a victory. But they found a way to the finals, and again, they came up short. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing for, for a good season, you ask, what would be a good season for them, you ask. Um, they, will, they have to win the Premier League because they always perform well in the Cups. They win a Cup mm -hmm. every season almost. They, but they have to get over the hump and win a Premier League this season. <laughs> they have to move now from perennial finalists to one of the best in the National Bank Premier League. It, add, added to that, um, and I agree with you, I think they actually do need to win a title too to have a good season because again going to the finals is no longer good enough they, they have to and then when you consider it um, they're the, actually the only team that have won titles in the Premier League that has never that has not won more than once so all the other teams Spurs, Village, Newtown they've won the titles more than once except Connery and so obviously this is something they will have to they'll have to work on um, so we'll see what happens with Connery FC when their time comes now we go to the the last match of the weekend, which is tomorrow evening. Flow 4 GK and Rockets, well, I'm not sure if this is the last match, but this is one of the matches that's playing tomorrow. Flow 4 GK and Rockets versus Hobson Enterprises, Garden Hot Spurs. Now, Spurs is interesting because they have a coaching change and has been confirmed that Austin Deco Huggins, formerly of, of St. Paul's, we talked about it at length earlier, he will be coaching for this season the Hobson Enterprises Garden Hot Spurs. Now, Deco played with Spurs back in the day. Uh, in his playing days, he also played for the national team as a former national player. Won the Premier League with Spurs, actually. So, this is actually uh, going back home for, Spur for, for Deco. Um, I'm sure this is building up a lot of excitement in the yes. Irish Town Magnet community right now. <laughs> yes, most definitely, especially after um, the devastating way they got knocked out <laughs> of the Final Four contention last year. Um, Deco going back home will be a, a, a big coup for them. Um, if he can transfer what he did with St. Paul's, with two Spurs, I think um, the Central Basque community will be quite happy with that. Yeah, indeed. And um, for, for Spurs, of course, they are also one of the teams that keep knocking on the door. Yes. Um, but they, they seem to be the better of the lot that hasn't made it to the Final Four regularly. Um, in they're, they're always there, thereabouts. So they're always in the fifth position, thereabouts. Maybe missing out by a point, missing out by two points. Um, what do you think Spurs need to do, though, to, to improve this season? I, I, I just think be more consistent. Last year, um, they were in the top two, I think, um, up until the end of round two. And then it just fell apart. Yeah, they're coming close to the end of the season. And then they, they, they picked back up later on, but mm -hmm. by then it was too late. Yeah, they did have a coaching change as well, too. Yes. Um, which, which, again, is debatable whether it was a good decision or not. But they had a coaching change around that time. I guess when the results started to slide, yeah. that, that they made that change. Where the experienced Pepe came in to stabilize the ship, which he did a very good job at because they, they won most of their games then. And uh, but just again, just missing out on the playoffs. But. Yeah, but just like Canary, I think Spurs need to win. I think, if they make, I think if they make it to the playoffs, um, well, I agree with you, they, they, they do need to win a Premier League, but I think if they make it to the playoffs and make it maybe a good run in the playoffs, probably make it to the finals, I think that, that probably would be enough to say, you know, they had a good season. And of course, Kayon, um, Flow 4 gk and Rockets, the team that everybody was saying, they are nobody on, they're going to win, three peats and all of that. We didn't quite see it, but they did have a pretty rough season. Um, they, they competed in the Caribbean Shield as well, which they didn't do well in, but they represented St. Kitts Nevis there, so we, we give them kudos for that. But uh, they had a rough season. Yes, yes, and after they came back from the Caribbean Shield, they had to play a number of games 
in succession, which I think um, played a role with, with played a role in their performance in the final four. Yeah, uh, although Coach um, Isaac, uh, George Isaac, Yellow Man, would disagree with you because he said, you know, this is football, this is, that's part of the mix, so he's not going to use that as an excuse. Uh, he thought that they could have done well. And credit to them, they made the playoffs yes. against all odds because coming back to play all those catch-up games, you know, it was really tight on them, but they managed to make the playoffs and made a good representation nonetheless. They were very close yes. to making it to the, to the finals. But, but this season for them, um, the pressure is up no, for the two, years, the two prior seasons, they were defending champs, so the targets were always on their back. No, they don't have that burden, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll mention this one thing before we close off um, regarding Keon. A, a fan was telling me on Sunday that um, Keon tends to play poorly when they have trouble in the camp, so to speak. Yeah. Um, and that was the case in the playoffs. I remember Carlos Berti, in his, one of his last regular season match, when he was substituted, he was um, showing dissent to his coach. Eventually, he didn't play until the last game of the playoffs. Um, which they narrowly missed out on a position. Um, so is it true that when there's dissension in the camp that Keon doesn't play well and when, they, when things are going good, they're, all, they're firing on all cylinders? <laughs> it, it, well, it's rare that when there's chaos, teams perform. It's very rare you find that. Most times when there's trouble in the camp, most teams can't cope with it. They, they, they struggle, especially, and especially here where we have um, amateur footballers. Um, they, they, the camaraderie in the camp will, uh, will, will express itself out on the field who, 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 when they, they, the opportunity comes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to leave it there for this week. Sean, thank you so much for being on SKN Football Weekly. Again, let me just remind our viewers that tonight at 8 o'clock, you can listen to the game between All Road Jets and Ramsley Superstars live at 8 p.m. on voiceofthecaribbean.net voice of the Caribbean radio or the St. Kitts Nevis Football Association website skinfa.com and just again to remind you that SKN Football Weekly will air on all these networks the Facebook page of the SKNFA the Facebook page of SKN Newsline as well as sknnewsline.com all simultaneously live at 11 o'clock this and every Saturday. We want to thank you for spending time to watch the very first edition of SK and Football Weekly. Hope you enjoyed the show and we look forward to seeing you next week, God's willing. I'm Andre Hill, your host. And again, remember, join me tonight along with LaShawn for coverage of the Old Road Jets versus Ranzilli Superstars on Voice of the Caribbean Radio at voiceofthecaribbean.net. Have a pleasant weekend and enjoy the opening weekend of the SKNFA National Bank Premier League.